My name's Sandy Knott, uh, from Fleurio Peninsula, south of Adelaide, South Australia. The topography here is pretty undulating, uh, going down to your lower flats, your volcanic sort of black peat soils. Property is running really well at the moment. Uh, we're doing a lot of changes this year as far as the nutrition is concerned and the animals, but uh, it's yeah, it's running really well compared to the, what the season's like. It's shut off really early here. We used to be feeding hay and silage, and now hay has become so expensive not only to buy but to produce yourself, and it has no guts as far as your ME and protein. So we've gone along the lines of supplementing it with, um, with the silage with Great Mark. South Australia has a very long and increasing feed gap period. It's of interest to producers to um, improve the production or improve the quality of feed that goes into animals over that feed gap period. And Great Mark is um, a product that is away from grapes and it is widely available in South Australia and it has very good energy and protein and it can be mixed with their normal maintenance supplement to make that maintenance go further. But it's also thought that um, Great Mark can reduce methane. Great Mark is, is uh, very high on our list of a potential product that is useful in this regard. Um, it comes in a whole range of forms, fresh like this, or crimped, you know, where it's, it's crushed so the seeds are broken, or dried, uh, or ensiled, um, and, and so on. Great Mark has significant potential. It's, it's relatively cheap, it's good energy and protein. There might be a few things we just need to keep an eye on with regards to mycotoxins and copper levels and a few things like that. It's normally between 9 and 10 ME, uh, whereas your hay is sort of your 8. Great Mark's very cheap and it's not too far away, about 15 k's away. We get in about six to 800 tonnes of Great Mark each year. So then obviously it reduces the greenhouse emissions and also increases your, um, your kilos per head. We're buying a mixer and um, mix the Great Mark and the silage together so they don't become picky because they'll definitely eat the silage before they eat the Great Mark and the Great Mark it needs to be together, otherwise it's, it's not working. So, uh, and then they'll be in sacrifice paddocks uh, and letting every, all the other hills and all the other pastures settle for the year. And we seem to get about 3,000 kilos extra off those paddocks. Already on, on Sandy's farm, by incorporating these supplementary feed alternatives and, also, and looking at changing um, calving dates, we can demonstrate that we reduce methane intensity by about 30%. It's really exciting for the producers to see the work that they do impact other locations nationally and internationally as well, but also see the results on farm and um, we hope to be able to demonstrate that to them by the end of the program. I hope in three months time when you come back that uh, that will be stuck into the feeding regime of in the sacrifice paddocks. Uh, hope to be having between 0 0.8, 0 0.8 and a kilo a day on the wieners and to be mixing and having the nutrition and rations right. <laughs>